Uh, it's never been a closed investigation. Um, the evidence from the original crime identified the involvement of two offenders in this murder. One of the offenders, uh, Mr Thomas, has been convicted and imprisoned for these, these offences, but uh, an arrest warrant has been issued for John Victor Bobak uh, for the involvement in the murders of Maureen Ambrose and Peter Wade. Why, why the sudden interest though? Why, why could that be? Uh, the fresh angle for today's appeal is we've used our experts in the photographic section to produce the age progression photographs of Mr Bobak. Mr Bobak would now in fact be 63 years of age, um, but there are features of Mr Bobak that will not change through the passing of time, and they include quite a prominent nose that he has, and also the fact that he is heavily tattooed, and those tattoos are particularly uh, present on his upper and lower arms. So with technology from the 1990s, if he did modify, alter or hide his tattoos, there would be some evidence of that. Um, so together with his current appearance and these prominent features, we're appealing to the public for uh, information. The details of those uh, tattoos can be accessed on our Queensland Police Service Facebook page. How horrific was the murder? The murders were uh, premeditated. It was not a, a random event. Uh, investigations did identify the uh, likely involvement of a third party who had a financial motive for Mr Wade to be murdered. It was a common knowledge at the time that Mr Wade had accumulated uh, significant wealth from uh, SP bookmaking activities in Sydney in the 1980s and the murders were carried out by two offenders and we're of the belief that uh, Mr Wade was the target of this murder and that Mrs Ambrose was the unfortunate victim of uh, circumstance being present in his unit on that night. What makes you so sure there were two people involved? Uh, due to the physical evidence at the crime scene, uh, two different firearms were used in this offence and witness accounts placed two persons in the crime scene. How much does it bug you that you've known of this bloke for 20 years and haven't been able to find Yes, as what I said, there are conflicting reports that uh, Mr Bobak is deceased but the investigation has always been carried out with the uh, approach that he is alive and well. Um, if he is alive and well, I'm of the belief that he would be living in a remote, isolated location. In his, uh, in his known time in the 1980s, he was known to live in rural locations. Um, he had a strong interest in motorbikes, and um, that is our belief that he would be established under a, a new false identity in a remote location. Why would that Um, back in the 1990s, the Queensland Police Service um, often utilised the most wanted list. Uh, generally, they are a top ten. Uh, Mr Bobak was a very prominent feature of those top ten most wanted lists, and often he would feature at number one on those lists. Would you say he is now, today, Australia's most wanted? Uh, that's a very subjective uh, comment, um, but he is of extreme interest to the Queensland Police Service. Sorry, mine covered this before, but um, when was the last time anyone saw Bobak? Mr Bobak was uh, last positively cited um, shortly after the murders of uh, Maureen Ambrose and Peter Wade. That was in uh, late 1991 and there have been no confirmed sightings of him, of him since that time. What was he doing at that point? Uh, I can't comment on that specifically. Um, again, I can't comment specifically on that. Did you want to be questioning over any other crimes since the murder? Uh, no, he's not. 